Hey friends, it is day 21 of my 30 day journey to healthy living with Arbonne. I cannot believe there is just a week left. Awesome. All right, so let's get right into it. So the recap for the day, and I'm really, really excited to get into kind of like the, the little tip and trick for tonight too, but let's go through the recap. So again, and I hope as you watch these videos, you understand really how simple it is. And the biggest thing that I'm being is consistent and intentional. That's what this is all about. It's not about starvation. It is not about going without. It's not about any of those things. It's about being intentional and consistent over a period of time, which results in big results. So start off the morning, detox tea, outstanding, wonderful. Sometimes I like to put a fist stick in my detox tea just to switch it up a little bit and that's delicious. Next, double chocolate shake. Also did green shots with mom. We're on day like 65 of that now, which is incredible. Um, so double chocolate shake for breakfast. I had my fizz stick, skin elixir, mind health combo, kind of like after that. Drink lots of water. Today is day four of seven of the body cleanse process. So again, that's just something I mix in 32 ounces of warm water and drink throughout the day. So just kind of generally speaking throughout the day, I'm drinking that. Drink lots of water today. I had some of the uh, sticky rice snacks that I have. Those are very delicious. And actually, you know, I will post a link to them um, below that you guys can check out. It is from a company I believe called, um, gosh, I cannot think of the name of it right now, but I'll post it below. You guys can check them out. They're amazing. Um, for lunch, so my oldest daughter had off from school today, so I took her and her friend to one of my favorite local restaurants, very, very close to home, and that's the Buffalo Wings and Rings uh, in Finney Town. So love that place, love the quality, love the people, love the service, love everything about it. So while I did want chicken wings, what I got instead was a beautiful buffalo chicken salad. So this is kind of how I healthed it up a little bit, right? So. I just got, I got grilled chicken on there and I didn't get any dressing. The dressing that I got, I, I always love to get my dressing on the side and I got the buffalo hot sauce and I just like dip my fork in there and then like fill up my fork and then eat it. And putting your dressing on the side and doing it that way ensures not only that you get a little bite of dressing on everything, but you go through way less dressing, which saves on um, things like calories, fat, depending on what type of dressing that you're eating. So mowed down that salad and it was delicious. Then um, I had an event tonight. So I had the Shake Your Fizzy event with my friend Dawn down at the Civic Center. And uh, she teaches an amazing, amazing Zumba class. So I partnered up with her for this month and just are doing different samples of protein shakes and different Arbonne drinks throughout the month. It's been so much fun. And then you get to work out. So leading up to that, I just did another double chocolate shake because frankly, I was running out of time and I needed to eat something. So I did not pass up during class. So I had that. Uh, did Zumba and then definitely partook. Uh, tonight I did samples of Skin Elixir, which by itself, I haven't had it by itself in such a long time. Um, it, it really tastes like almost like a kind of like a hibiscus tea to me, but it's wonderful because it's just it's packed with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and antioxidants and sea buckthorn and all kinds of good stuff for our skin, hair, and nails. Um, and then I also featured a chocolate to peanut butter shake. So needless to say the samples that were left over went into my mouth and then after getting home i was still very hungry so i made some quick eggs and gluten-free toast as well so that was my day that was my recap guys pretty simple not difficult at all i ate when i was hungry and i just made sure that i was being mindful of what i was putting in that's all what that it is about so getting into the little tip or trick so tonight today whenever you're watching this it's something that i absolutely love about arbonne like on the business side of things aside from the fact that i get to change people's lives and, and help them grow their own businesses and see them succeed and thrive in their health and like all that stuff which i love is personally i'm a huge nerd about leadership and development and i love how much this company pours into me 
uh, to make me a better human, a better leader, all of that stuff. So uh, I am part of a 12 week series that is intended for people who want to get to the third promotion in the company, which is regional vice president. And that's, I'm at the first level as district manager right now, currently. Um, but yeah, I'll be a national vice president one day for sure. So I'm doing this course to get to regional vice president and Cecilia Stoll, who's this amazing human, she's been in Arbonne for many, many years, and she's actually the top income earner in our company currently. And she is like a beautiful soul. So she's heard more no's than any of us, probably more no's than any of us like combined, right? But she was sharing some stuff with us and she said this, the way we do anything is the way we do everything. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me pause that. Let me rewind it. Let me write this down. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. And the way that I interpreted that is where is the lowest common denominator in my behaviors in my life? Like, what am I doing that is not serving my current life, my current journey, my intentions, my dreams, all of that? What am I doing? Because that one little anything is affecting my everything that I'm going for. So definitely did some self-reflection on that. and. Yeah, I definitely have a couple things that, you know, I, I'm a pretty, you know, high performer, I'm high energy, like, you guys have really seen, like, who I am. I have tough days every once in a while, but, you know, digging into what that personal anything is, is so important. And I've realized that oftentimes, <sighs> I just look for attention that I don't need essentially, you know, instead of relying on myself, you know, when I'm having those tough days, those days of self doubt, not feeling great, like just questioning, like, what am I even doing? It's in those moments that instead of relying on myself and knowing that I got this, I seek out attention from places that probably do not, well, not probably, that don't serve me. So that is something becoming more aware of that is definitely going to help empower my everything's to the next level. So I'm excited to have had that realization, but I want to throw that out to you all as well. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. So how are you approaching your life? What are you getting into? What are you doing that you know, like deep down inside isn't serving you and just know that that one thing is holding you back and maybe it's time to release it. On that note, I'm gonna recap, just in case this is the only video you ever watch, which I hope it isn't, I am just going to recap all of the little tips and tricks so far that we've uncovered on this journey, because I am passionate about sharing just little ways to help improve everyone's life. So just pick one, just pick one thing, one thing. One little habit changes the world, honestly. So some fun tips and tricks. Number one, increase your water intake. You wanna to aim to drink half your body weight in water every single day. And if you are doing that already, half your body weight in ounces, by the way, if you're doing that already, guess what? Try leaving 12 hours between your last meal and your first meal of the day. That will give your body enough time to process, repair, maintain, do all of its goodness. If you're already doing both of those things or none of those things because they sound horrendous, just move more. Park literally like one parking spot further away than you normally would. That's a step in the right direction. Um, let's stay in touch with our feelings, but know that we have to keep on moving. We have to find that power. And guys, I know that when we're in those deep, dark places, those impossible places, those places that have us underneath the covers, not getting out of bed, we just have to take that one step. We just have to remember to do that. We have to keep moving because the more that we move, the more that we will move out of that headspace. Also, take a look at your poop. I really do have to rearrange the order of these because I'm like, gosh, that's so deep. And then I'm like, oh yeah, look at your poop. <laughs> so our poop is definitely an indication of health, how often you're going, what it looks like, all of that. And you want to go for four to eight inches, sinkers and peanut butter consistency, ideally. Um, if you're having some unhealthy drinks during the day, let's say you're drinking pots of coffee or like 10 Mountain Dews, 
substitute just one of those out for some water. Make sure you're not starving yourself. I just had a conversation with one of my dear, dear, dear clients the other day because our, our, our like culture tells us like, oh, if you want to lose weight, well, don't eat as much. No, it's about eating the right things and nourishing your body. So don't starve yourself. It's counterproductive. Uh, knowing that and know deeply that you change just one action that changes your whole life. Um, I love this from Unf Yourself by Gary John Bishop. Don't expect victory or defeat. Plan for victory and learn from defeat. Eat more foods without labels like fruits and veggies. Um, understand that perfection is something that no one has. So comparing your journey to somebody else's is not going to serve you in the long run. It's just going to hold you back. You be you. Make sure to audit your inner circle. You want people around you who are celebrating you, cheering you on at every every turn, every corner, every journey, every hill, every mountain, they're just cheering you on. And if that's not what you're experiencing, know that you are brave enough to make that change because those people aren't serving you. And I just want you to know that's, that that's not normal for people to tear people down. Um, another one, just a little fun fact here. Trying is an easy way of not doing something. So eliminate those words. Eliminate, oh, I'm gonna try, oh, I want to, oh, I need to, like just effing do it, people, just do it. And then yesterday we talked a little bit about prioritizing something that you love to do. Self-care is so important. You gotta fill your own bucket, your own happiness, that's your responsibility, nobody else's. And then of course tonight, the way we do anything is the way we do everything. So find that lowest common denominator in your life and make some change. Thank you all for so much for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow for day 22, officially in the last week, guys. Take care, y'all.